guys, I'm fired up today because we got a real cool, real cool thing we picked up at Harbor Freight that I've, I said thing, but it's an item that we picked up at Harbor Freight that I'm fired up about. But guys, before we do that, I got something cool to show you. This is, this is for the Dream Big, uh, that Dream Big movement we're doing with the keychains. Thank you to everyone that buys the keychains because you're really helping some young person out. And we appreciate you. We can't do it without you. Nope. I mean, we could, but it would be really expensive. And really difficult. <laughs> and really difficult. But with your help, it makes it a lot better, a lot easier. And you are able to give to these kids, too. And and it's not us doing it. It's all of us. Yep. The community. The Dream Big community. Oh, yeah. Is this upside down or what? Uh, it, hold up. That's Let the top look. of it. That's the top of it. It's the top? Yeah. So turn around. Is it, and is this bigger than me? Pro uh, no. Okay. Here we go. Oh, hold on. Let me go wide angle. Dream big. Price customs. That's pretty cool. That is cool. What does it look like? It looks awesome. That's pretty awesome, guys. But what do you think about that? Let us know in the comments. This is what the movements. We're going. I think the school's going to put this up for in us. their in their shop. In their shop. So I'll just set that over here for right now. But as you can see behind him is the item we're going to be talking about here show it real quick yes we're going to be talking about the hercules 3 8 impact guys well, i want to you know we had we bought the half inch impact and we done a test it was really tough wasn't it yeah it really held its own compared to the d wall the, the d wall that's yeah the d wall and, that's, the, and uh, the cobalt cobalt one but there goes my <laughs> but we got this one and we're gonna put it up against the half inch one and see if it can compete with the half inch to three eighths hey that'd be cool hey, to see I, hey I, you never know let's get this thing open we'll let hunter open it and we'll see what all it does he'll read you all the specs and all that fancy stuff but i want you to look at that guys and they're running a deal that if you buy a tool, you can get two tools. No, if you buy two, two tools, tools for $99. You get them both for $99. So, guys, I'm telling you, that's a deal. So, go to Harbor Freight and find you some. And, and we are not sponsored. No, we are not. And it's the Hercules brand, yep. and which is, I think, pretty top-notch. Let's see how this one Let's is. Let's do it. Okay, with this um, tool right here, it says it has th three brushless motor speeds. So, hey, brushless motor, that's good. And it says four seventy-five foot-pound torque breakaway. Well, that's pretty so that's, good. That's pretty good. Weighs two point seven pounds. Compact sentient, six inch of length fits into hard reach areas, as it says. And it comes with a lot that's supposed to be pretty bright. And it's supposed to be balanced to for your hand for it don't hurt your hand. The ergonomics of it and variable speed control trigger. That's oh, good. that's pretty. I like cool. when they have variable speeds. So it's a three H twenty volt. And it has a five-year warranty, which is insane for any any battery power tool. Yeah, because we looked at the Milwaukee. How long? It's three year. Yeah, it's three year, and this is five years. That's pretty cool. I mean, I, I'm telling you, Hercules has come a long ways with their stuff. So I got my Icon knife out to open that up. Let's get this open. I wonder if it's just like the the half inch one. What was in there that's making a rattling noise? The clip. Okay. But we won't put it on. We never put the clip on. Not for car stuff because we don't carry it around that much. But there it's we pretty go. Pretty small, that isn't feels it? Feels pretty good. Look at that, guys. I wonder how bright that light is going to be. Well, I have a battery one. right there. Let's see. A little tight getting on there, but. There's the light. It's not like super, super bright, but. It, it'll do. <laughs> it sounds, we're going to put it to the test here. It don't here, sound man. very powerful. And this thing's fully charged. Yeah, it's fully charged. Show them. So what we're going to do is, Hunter, get out the half inch one. And let's put it beside it and see how much different. I, I don't know why. I seen this one and I was like, I have to have it. So, I mean, wow, the half-inch one's about the same size, ain't it? Yeah, it basically is. It is? Yeah. Look at that, guys. We have the big brother and the little brother. But I'm interested to see how this actually does, because just by pulling the trigger, you know, normally they feel a little powerful. This one, 
<laughs> but don't well, they have speeds? Bit. How do you change the speeds? It's on the fastest speed. It is? Here's the slowest. Oh, wow. In second, then third. Let's do that compared to the half ends to see. What see how is, it is. It's so tight fitting that on there. <laughs> it's because it's brand new. Feels about the same as the half inch, isn't it? Great. So it could just be gear. You remember, because whenever it sounds different until you start doing it. you actually used it. And then you could really tell a difference. So, overall size, it's pretty close to the half inch. Yeah. I mean, they're basically the exact same size. So, look at that, guys. You can tell we used the half inch one. So, you can tell you're not getting any extra space gaining with the 3 8 compared to the half inch. Yeah, I thought that would be a bigger bigger difference. I thought there would be, too. So, we'll see. Is it worth to get the 3 8 or the half inch or both or just one? Hey, what we ought to do is go out there and tighten up a lug nut with the half inch and see if the three eighths can break it loose that sounds good to me sounds like a good test oh to me. yeah and then we have the big tundra freaking lug nuts i don't know if we have the size in three eighths we should maybe it, it'd be a chromie we'll see. but we don't we're not scared to hey, use a chromie it's okay <laughs> you know what they say chromie will get you home oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's let's do that let's set that up and we'll we'll have a competition to see which one breaks it loose faster and we'll do a uh, stopwatch. stopwatch and see which one will break it loose faster so it. we'll find out what size that is i have no clue i don't know but we'll figure because it out that is a it. what is that truck uh foreign truck yep it is <laughs> it's not standard well, do we have metric here if not oh we, we do we here do. Yeah, we, we don't do. at the other yep. garage all right guys so we'll get out there and get it set up and we'll get right back to you okay which one are you starting out with half inch uh i'll say when to go okay all right ready i'll get on there three two one go all right 134. I will. Did it get stuck again? No. Okay. Okay. That was the half inch. That was the half inch, guys. Because the three eighths, we have a chrome Chromie. socket. Don't judge. Don't judge. And I done it on that one, so I'll do it on this one. Because these were put on by the, uh, the tire, tire shop. shop. Yeah. All right. I'll ca tell you when. Okay. Ready. Three, two, one, go. That's it. 227. Give or take a few seconds, of course. Yeah. Is that, what was that, two seconds? Yeah, so 134 to 227. Give me the mallet, you know how that... <laughs> yeah, <I'm> stuck. <laughs> yeah, so what we're going to have to do is break out the Harbor Freight mallet and beat on it, thing for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> the chrome always gets stuck on there. I can't stand chromies. So to compare these, we're wanting to compare like everything. Like weight and everything. Because that is a good, imp very important thing of a tool. Is honestly the weight. Because you don't want it to fatigue you. I know a lot of people say it's just a tool. But if you're using that tool all the time, it might come in handy to have a lighter one. If you want it that way. Yeah, because we what we done is we done the speed test. Which they was, we'll do the math here in a minute of what that was and then we'll do the weight and we'll do size and stuff like that mm -hmm. and see what the difference can be so what hunter has here i have the postal scale from harbor freight this is a harbor freight postal scale so every package that y'all buy gets weight on this scale just letting you know all right let's start out with a half inch half inch okay look it's on zero pounds zero ounces all right let me go in here okay and i'll stay on here so they can see that is 2.12 ounces. That ain't bad. Nope. That's without a battery. Without a battery. Let's do this one. 2.11, I mean, 2.11.2. So, what, do it again? Okay. That went down to half <laughs> one. <laughs> How's that possible? It, I mean... Okay, there it is. 12. Okay, there two, we go. 212, and this is... Let it clear. 211.3. <laughs> I mean, it varies the point ounce. I mean, that really don't matter. So, basically, a one ounce difference in weight between the 3 eighths and the half inch. Wow, which I is mean... nothing at all. Let's see what it is with the battery. I know it should still be the, the same. The battery's right there behind the turbo. But this turbo is important turbo. to know with the 5... 
amp hour battery how much it actually weighs. Yeah. So the half inch will be first. This is bugging out. You do it. What? What? I don't know what's going on. There it goes. I think I breathed on it. Something's going on with this now. I don't know what's wrong with it. <laughs> it's probably what it's sitting on. Probably. We probably should have moved there it and set okay, on something moving. hard. 4.3, 4. .3, 4 point, yeah, around 4.3. All right. Now let's change batteries. Now this should this should be about the same. Yeah, it should be. This is the three eighths. Four point two, four point one. So so four point two basically. So it's an ounce. Yep. So an ounce difference in the in the half inch and the three eighths. The three eighths. So that's nothing. That's nothing. There's no difference. The speed difference was how much was the difference there? I'll have to look back at the footage to know for sure. I can't remember the exact numbers, but I know I think the one was 2.27. The other one was like 1.43, something like that. Yeah, so it's like, what, not even a second. Not even a full second. Yeah, not even a full second difference between the 3 eighths and the half inch. Now let's just, let's just get out a tape and stuff and measure and see um, which one is bigger. Let's do it. Guys, we know what the difference, they're the same size. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy. But they're half inch, three eighths. So we didn't get out a measure. Size. We didn't get out a measure. No, because we just put it like that. And I mean, there's no mistake. The only difference is, and that's what the weight difference is, is this right here. The anvil. Yeah, that's it. That's the only weight difference in this thing. But what we're going to do is, you know what? You can't compare from the same brand. So we're going to go against a big name. So we're going to go over to the garage, and we're going to put this little thing up against a Milwaukee. The big so name Milwaukee. Mil big name. Hey, let's see if Hercules really can do it. Let's head over to the garage and do that. Let's do it. So we got the Hercules 3.8. So we're going to be put. it's a 20 volt. We're going to be putting up against the Milwaukee 12 volt, the M12. But it's the fuel, isn't it? It's the fuel, and it's their stubby version. Look at the size comparison. Now, this is what blows my mind, is if Milwaukee could make it this small, could Hercules... Not make it any smaller? Make I it, know. you know, because it's the exact same size... As their half-inch compact version. So, I mean, could they make it smaller? I don't know. That's something that they need to figure out. I don't know. <laughs> but we do have our torque wrench out. We're going to torque the wheels down to 200 foot-pounds. Yeah, show which, them. I mean... Show them. Show them. Oh, right here. Uh, 150 foot pounds, sorry. Yeah, I was about to say 200. It was 200 NM. I, didn't, I was reading yeah. the wrong side. 150 foot pound, we're going to tighten it down to that and then try to break them loose with the Hercules and then see if the Milwaukee will do it too. So I say let's get over here and do it. Yeah, so I mean, honestly, the, the Milwaukee is very compact though. It is very small. Like, very small. Whoo, I about sneezed. That would have scared them to death, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but look at that, guys. Look at the difference of that. Well, you know, one thing about it, though, it is a little fatter. Yeah. But, I mean, it, this way, though, it's, like, a lot smaller. But enough talk about the sizes. Let's actually put it to the test and see. Yeah, and see which one is the best. See which one's worth buying, the Milwaukee or the Hercules. Yeah, and we'll tell you price difference between all three here yes. in a second. So, so let's do it. All right, guys, I want you to come in and make sure... Show that we are still 150 foot pound. The same. To see. Yep. I don't know if I can do this or not. But, you know, look at that. Did we break it loose last time with something? I don't know. Am I going the right way? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know, you remember that one time we was trying to break loose with something and we, we were tightening it and someone told us in the video, it's like, guys, Loosen it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, this is going to be tight. What's the specs on a car? Oh, gosh. I don't know if you're supposed to go that much. <laughs> 
Well, strip it out. It might. So we might not need to go all the way that tight. All right, because that was like pretty tight. I'm going to try it one more time. Okay? Yeah. Because right, I think we might be like right there. No. Nope. <laughs> but it's tight. Tighten another one that way too. Just go ahead and do this one? Yeah. This one might already be there. Nope. <laughs> how about when uh, how about fell the floor? It's tighter than that one though. There we go. That should be good. Let me do it like I did the other one. Oh, there we go. That's probably like 90. Yeah, we don't, don't want to put up the 150. I'm, I don't know if I might destroy something there. I don't know. I'd hate to do that. All right. Especially uh, on this nice car. Did we get the... <laughs> you have the socket? No, I think it's still sitting over here. Guys, let me, we'll get right back with you. Let me go get the socket. All right. Just to show you one more time, because since we had to go get that, because I lay things down. <sighs> okay. You see the car was moving. Yeah. That's how tight those were. We'll see if this will break it free or not. Here's the one thing I have trouble with this thing. I don't know why. No, I didn't. I just went. You tried too hard. All right, guys. Here we go. Put it in reverse. Make sure it's on reverse. Put it in reverse, Terry. Here we go. took a little bit that did it took a little bit like seriously man that was on there i'm gonna go ahead and tighten that back up guys so i don't forget of course this thing is very fast yeah so as you can see it's on dolly right? all right guys that's the one i just done so i'm gonna move to this one the last one i done and try the big name and see what the difference is yeah okay reverse reverse you ready? Yep. Well, let me get it on there. There it goes. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Now, if the Hercules can break out loose. If it can break it free. Dude, this thing done it quick. It did very quick. And that's a 12 volt. I know. That's what's crazy about Milwaukee. Such power and such in small volume. It got it done it though. It took a little bit. Yeah, that is insane. Now let's try the Herc uh, the Milwaukee to see if we can break the Hercules free. All right, let's just I'm gonna tighten it down a little more. Okay. okay. It ain't moving it. Nope. Woo. Let's that hot. Let's see if the Milwaukee can take it free. <laughs> so we're gonna all right well let's well, talk about it over here yeah okay we're gonna start off talking with the hercules right here so we had the half inch and the three eighths which the like we said before they're the same size the three the three eighths is a little bit slower than the half inch and that's i mean that's, about, that's it. about it and weighs a little this weighs a little bit less than the half inch and it's only because we believe it is, of this part right here. Yeah. But the thing is, if you're going to pick just one between those two, I, because the price difference is only $5. This one's $64.99. The other one's $69.99. For so, the tool only. For the tool only half inch of the 3 8 and of the half inch. So if you're going to spend just buying one tool of the Hercules for an impact, I would just say go ahead and bump up to the half inch because you're going to get a little bit of a better breaking torque power and a little bit better speed but other than that same size so it really don't matter so i'd spend the extra five dollars and just go ahead and get the half inch but if you wanted to have both to have three it's in half inch and i would say definitely pick it up so both of them would be about 130 dollars yeah which i think right, right now you might be able to get them both for 99 i don't know if that tool's on it I, did, I don't tools. think it was I, I, I don't think it is but there's certain tools you could do so check it out because it's a cool sale that's the reason we got this thing is because it's on a good deal now compare it to the Milwaukee. The price difference. $64.99, $69.99. Yeah. 
$199 for, these are prices for tool only. So without batteries, $199 for the Milwaukee compared to the $64.99 for the Hercules. Now overall speed, like breakaway speed and everything, as you saw in the video, the Milwaukee actually Smoked destroyed it. the Hercules. But price point is a big difference. But And this is actually a 12 volt battery. 12 volt, M12, that's hard to believe. M12 Milwaukee against a 20 volt Hercules the Milwaukee in these tests we the test we did just the one test it absolutely destroyed it which I mean is the big name worth it in that point I don't know but guys but you could buy the half inch and the three eighths cheaper, cheaper than, than what this. you could buy that yeah and you could probably throw some batteries in there and everything yeah cheaper than what this one thing is if you're doing it every single day like using an impact wrench using it every single hold day, on hold on I'm going first. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Hunter's getting carried away, guys. You know why I go first, because he gets out some special tool when at the end. Yeah. So, hold on. We're going to swap spots. All right, guys. It, you seen it. It smoked it. Big deal. <laughs> <laughs> because the price difference is nowhere near. Because if it was me, I'd buy the half inch and the three eighths and a couple batteries for what you pay for this tool. So, me, myself... I'm going with the big Hercules. If you can get mad at me if you want to, but that's just what I think. Big, I think the Hercules. Big blue. Yeah, big blue, guys. <laughs> oh, I, that sounds like a Kentucky fan. But uh, hey, if you're from Kentucky. It's the blue right there. But we're talking about this blue. Yeah, because go boss. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, if you, it, well, let's just see what Hunter thinks. What do you want to do? Oh yeah, I'll let's do it. In. Now back to what I was saying about if you were going to use this tool every single day of your life and make money off of it, and you had a little extra money to spare, I say get the Milwaukee for that case, but I really do like the Hercules. But my pick for this, I'm gonna have to say, it cannot be the big blue because go balls, baby. <laughs> I'm going with the Hercules. And I mean the Milwaukee, sorry, that was my mind. <laughs> I'm going with, Guys, no, he can't lie. No, I'm going with the Milwaukee because the Hercules, this is what I'm trying to say, is going. In the garbage can, not really, but it's, it lost this battle because this is for the win right here in my books. But both are really good, so. I mean, they both got the job done. Yeah, it's just a whole job. lot faster. This one's a whole lot faster, save you a lot of time if you make money and you need to get a lot of jobs done. This would save you the time, so I'm going And plus, lot. you would not need to break lug nuts loose at 100 50 foot pounds yeah. with a 3 8 impact. Yeah, but on engine parts and stuff. Yeah. One thing is, as you can tell, oh, I can't show this later video. Sorry. No, nope, I was yep. going to show you, but. No, we can't that's show. That's another we can't video. Show. So, guys, what, comment what you thought about this video. Guys, because it don't cost a bit more to dream big than it does little. And I'll dream big. Because I. Serve a big God. All right, guys. Make sure that you like, subscribe, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you and comment down below. What you think about the 3 And see Hercules. which one you would pick. The Milwaukee or Hercules. And you're definitely picking the Vols. Go Vols. <laughs> no, guys, we're joking. We like all schools. No, I, I love But the we Vols. love the Vols. This is my school right here, son. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't have nothing against your school, I promise. No, no. But guys, make sure you like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See Peace. you next time.